Isang magandang magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, doing all for the gospel. Sa ngalan po na aking mga kasamahang pari, mga brothers at mga junior professed members at gayon din po ang mga seminarista ng aming pong kongregasyon sa Pilipinas at sa Macau at gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Arts Diocese of Manila at ang staff ng TV Maria. Uh, inaanyayahan po namin kayong makiisa, makimisa ngayon pong ika labing siyam ng Mayo 2019, 19th of May 2019. Ito po ang ikalimang linggo ng Pasko ng muling pagkabuhay. At uh, syempre po, nais po nating uh, ipanalangin ang ating mga regular na mga kadaupang palad sa atin pong apostoladong ito, ang ating pong mga OFWs, lalo-lalo uh, na po yung mga seamen at sea women, ang ating mga homebound na mga may sakit, uh, yung iba't ibang mga cancer patients na nagpapalakas sa inyo pong mga bahay, ang mga elderly po, mga caregivers, relatives at uh, mga professionals po na mga caregivers, at uh, ang atin pong mga persons on duty, mga militar, police, doktor, at mga health workers na kailangang humimpil sa kanilang mga emergency areas. Of course, we would like to pray para po sa ating mga mission partners. Ang grupo po ni Brother Alex Pideris, dyan po sa Canada, pinapanalangin natin ang kanilang namayapa na kasamahan si Brother Juanito Santos, no? Ang uh, Santos Merck family, ang uh, Reyes family, ang Adorna family, lahat po kayo dyan sa Canada. Ang ating mga long time na makasambuhay, ang uh, Masigan family, Chowa family, Arujado at Bilyarus family, ang Jacob family, ang uh, pamilya po ng San Miguel, dyan po sa Marikina, uh, ang pamilya ni Corazon Ochoa, Rosita Kauyan, uh, of course, the Gonzales family, ng ating kapatid at kaibigan na si Alma, at gayon din po ang ating mga long time na mga love offerers, sina Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban, at Leilani Palladio Himotea. We'd like to greet yung ating mga co-pilgrims po, yung spell group oh, ng March 2019 na kasama natin sa Holy Land. Gayun din po ang group ni, ng Recto and Friends. Ha, kasama rin po natin sa Holy Land uh, noong March 2019. And then, of course, noong October 2018, ang napaka-aktibong grupo po ng uh, uh, Yellow Group ah, dyan po sa Holy Land noong October 2018. Ang ating po mga kaibigan ng mga OAR, ng mga pari, si uh, Father Randy, Father Charlie, Father Joe Alves, uh, si Father Joy ng Merinol. At uh, siyempre po yung magpipinsan, magkakapatid, no? si na Geraldine, Grace, uh, at uh, si Jane, gayon din po si uh, Willie at Arlina Onglao. At uh, siyempre ang grupo po ni na uh, uh, Grace Polido Tan at Nonoy Tan at uh, ang Tantuiko Group, ang grupo ni na Highland at ang kanyang buong pamilya, ah, si Rosely at si Chrissy at si Rosebell at si William at gayon din si Anton at si Juliet O'Reilly. Um, we'd like to pray for all your intentions and uh, of course, we would like to take note of our mga messages na tinanggap po natin either sa ating YouTube o sa ating Facebook Messenger accounts. 
Uh, isa na po riyan galing kay Miguel Alcantara sa Riyadh, sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Salamat sa iyo pong uh, offering. And we'd like to pray for your health, for your family, and for your work. And for the souls of Crisanto Alcantara, Bernardo, Marti Martiniana Alcantara, Celestino Alcantara, and all the poor souls in purgatory. And uh, yeah, sana nga ay, uh, uh, you are blessed with uh, your US visa, huh? uh, Miguel Alcantara. Si Rosette Canoso, gusto rin naman nating isama sa panalangin ang good health po ng kanyang mga nais ipanalangin si Tim Lam, Carmen Lam, ang dalawang anak nilang si Leonard Lam at Nicholas Lam. At gayon din po nais niyang ipanalangin natin yung kanila pong lolo ng Lam family, si Lam Hokwing. Yan. Sabi po ni Rosette, uh, napakabait daw po netong pamilyang ito na pinagtatrabahuan niya for the past 26 years. And yung nga, meron pong cancer itong si Lam Hok Wing. Yan, we'd like to pray in a special way para sa kanya. Si Maria Bida Hasmin, kanya successful po ang operation ng anak kong si Kyle Adriel Jos Hasmin. Salamat kanya. Sana panalangin daw natin ang kanyang recovery, full recovery at uh, patuloy pang uh, ipanalangin uh, sa mga darating pang operasyon. So may mga series of operation itong anak ni Maria Vida Hasmin. No? So we'd like to accompany the family with our prayer. Si Mel Garcia, kanya Isama po ninyo sa panalangin ang paggaling ng aking ninong si Reverend Father Romy L. Mendoza ng Archdiocese ng Lipa na nagkaroon po ng bypass surgery uh, dyan sa Cardinal Santos Medical Center. Yeah, we'd like to reach out and lift up in prayer si Father Romy Mendoza ng Lipa. No? Si Jeffrey Porcalia, uh, we'd like to pray for strength and clear mind para kanya pong madaanan ng kanyang mga pinagdadaanan, ano man yung mga dinadaanan na yan. <laughs> oh, oh. And then of course, we pray for the soul of uh, his father na nawa ay uh, nasa piling na ito ng ating mapagmahal na Panginoon si Ida Ortega Imperial would like to include yung kanyang mommy who has suffered stroke and mild dementia. Ang pangalan po ng kanyang mommy ay si Zaida Ortega Imperial. And sabi nga po ni Ida, uh, what is uh, sad for her is that kailangan niya magtrabaho so the, the mommy is left to the care of the nanny. No? So, totoo po yan. Yan pong isa sa mga napakahirap na maganap sa buhay. That's why, you know, I appreciate my sister na nag-retire na ho ng maaga para po sa aking tatay at nanay para talagang masubaybayan niya ang aming dalawang magulang. I'd like to acknowledge that and appreciate that sa aking sister. And uh, nais din po ni Ida na ipanalangin natin ang kanyang anak uh, who is staying kasama po ng kanyang uh, uh, mami uh, na nagkaroon naman yung anak niya ng aortic valve replacement. Wow! Talaga naman, no? So, Ida, hawak lang. Ha? Hawak lang kay Lord. God is greater than all our realities. Yan ang palagi kong sinasabi. Si Mav Banzuela, nagpapasalamat po sa kanyang mga blessings at uh, sanya nawa i-accept yung aking pong uh, service. No? Uh, I sent to you, kanya, uh, uh, send me uh, 
yung finalized daily Bible reading guide. Oh, sige. Sa staff po natin ito, they will follow this up. No? Mab Banzuela. Si Gigi Rabingo, uh, nais din niya pong ipagpasalamat yung atin pong daily reflections na atin pong pinopost sa Facebook. At sabi niya, Sino man po daw yung gumagawa ng daily reflections ka sa kanya, I love the way they were done. Kaya lang kanya ko minsan daw, na, na, natatag, na flag, flag down yung posting as not appropriate. <laughs> Talaga naman, ano? We cannot please everybody. Talaga pong ganyan. O? Oh? Uh, sabi nga nila, it's a free world. Uh, yeah, there's a price to freedom. So anyway, tuloy-tuloy lang po ang ating apostolate. No? Ngayon po, sa ating pagdiriwang ng ikalimang linggo ng Pasko ng Muling Pagkabuhay, um, we will talk about the role of encouragement in the community. Yeah, no? Ano ba yung papel na ginagampanan ng pagpapalakas no? sa community encouragement? No? Totoo po yan, napakahalaga. Kung ang community is the way the recent Lord continues to be present among us, then the community needs to be encouraged. Unang-una po, sa atin pong first reading, Acts chapter 14, Verse 21 to 27, maririnig natin kung paanong pagkatapos ipundar ni Pablo at ni Bernabe yung iba't ibang mga community nila, ito po ay binalikan nila. Binalikan upang sa ganon i-monitor, i-strengthen. At sabi po doon, sila'y nag-assign ng mga elders upang mga siwa sa community. At yan po ang trabaho ng mga elders to encourage no? the community. Kaya nga po, sa responsorial psalm, sabi natin, I will praise your name forever. So napakahalaga po yung tinatawag natin na praise and worship sa pagbuo po ng isang community. Sa anumang pong mga realidad ng buhay natin, we have to continuously have a lifestyle of praise and a lifestyle of worship. Doon naman po sa second reading natin, matutunghayan po natin yung tinatawag po natin na encouragement ng Apostol San Juan sa kanya pong Apokalipsis na ang Diyos kanya, He makes all things new. Binabago ng Diyos ang lahat ng bagay. A new heaven and a new earth. And notice, sa atin pong maikling gospel, babalikan po natin ang kwento ng huling hapunan na kung saan sa gitna po ng pag-alis ni Judas, pag-walk out ni Judas sa Last Supper, sabi doon, the Lord focused on the glory of God, that now God is glorified. And Jesus focused on the need to love one another. Brothers and sisters, ang pagiging community ay hindi po ganun kadali. Marami po ang pinagdadaanan ng atin pong iba't ibang mga communities. Faith-based communities, renewal communities, parish communities, transparochial communities, families as community. Marami pong pinagdadaanan yan. And nawa, tulungan natin ang bawat isa na ma-encounter ang power ng risen Lord sa ating community by being persons of encouragement. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa sa Oratorio ni Maria, Reina ng mga Apostol, 7708 St. Paul Road, San Antonio Village, Makati.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. At the Last Supper, before his departure, Jesus leaves a sign by which the disciples will be known as his very own, their love for one another. And the measure of this love is the love of Jesus for them, which makes Jesus stoop down to wash their feet and to die on the cross. The seal of our belonging to Christ remains the same, our love for the Lord and for one another. May we remain faithful to this commandment. Sisters and brothers, we now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, 
they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God has done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let them make known your might to the children of Adam and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down of, out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old older has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter, everyone! Isang maligayang pagbati din sa lahat ng ating mga viewers, listeners, especially those who are abroad, ang ating mga kababayan na nasa Dubai, sa Amerika, sa US, Australia, lahat na ng bansa. I'm sure during the Sundays of Easter, sila po ay tumututok sa atin sa Sambuhay TV Mass. And I greet you all. May God's grace and love be upon you. Nasa ikalimang linggo na po tayo ng ating pagdiriwang ng Easter. At nakita natin kung paano kumikilos ang Diyos sa ating buhay. If there is one thing that we really desire during this Easter season, and I'm sure you are aware of this, is how we grow in love with God and others. Kung titignan natin, it is really our relationship with others and with God that matters so much in our life. Otherwise, yung lahat ng ating pagdiriwang, ang ating rituals, ang ating mga ginagawa sa buhay, if these things are not motivated by love, parang wala, no? Walang silbi. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday, fifth Sunday of Easter, we are invited to look into our hearts once more and to see what kind of love do we have. Now, we are aware of the saying na ang taong hindi nagmahal ay para daw walang silbi sa buhay. Ano? That person cannot find meaning in life. And we also say that we have to love in order to find purpose in life. But do you know that even before you love others, there is one principle that we have to remember. Principle that is the foundation of our loving others and loving God. And this principle is we have to allow God to love us. Our first calling then, our first calling is not to love others. It's not to do something good for others. Our first calling is to be loved by God. Allow ourselves to be loved by Him. Only when we experience God's love, then we can love others and stay in love. Sabi nga nila, madali lang ma-in love. Yung mga bata dyan, na-in love na ba kayo? Have you been in love? Of course, no? Hindi lang once, twice, several times. It's easy to be in love. Ngayon, ang mga kabataan may mga gadgets na. No? So they can easily access to a lot of things. Ang daming lang friends sa Facebook, halimbawa, one may yung aking uh, pamangkin, nagmamayabang pang sabi niya, Father, Father, Tito Father, sabi niya, I have 1,500 friends. Sa iyo, Tito Father, ilang ba ang friends mo? Sabi, I'm all 200 lang ata sa akin. Then I ask him, lahat ba yan ay kaibigan mo siya? Of course. So they easily get into relationship, friendship, get virtual, and then they fall in love. It is easy to fall in love, but it is difficult to stay in love. And so today, our readings give us a, uh, ideas or clues how to stay in love and how to make that love purer. Jesus said in the Gospel, you must love. Love one another as I have loved you. And you will be identified as my followers the way you love each other. Atatandaan niyo ba yung sinabi ni Jesus beforehand? Sabi niya, love one another as you love yourself. Which is true. But the next level of loving pala is, Loving each other, not just according to my own standard of loving, but according to God's standard of loving, according to Jesus' standard of loving. That's the next level of loving. If you want to grow in love, then we look into Jesus' way of loving. And how did Jesus love? In the Gospel, we have three actually, or one. 
Jesus loved first by washing his disciples' feet. You want to stay in love? Wash the feet of others. Medyo figurative language to, no? Metaphorical. But washing the feet pala ibig sabihin ay serving others. Getting out of yourself, your comfort zone, to serve others. Look at your parents. By attending to your needs, cooking your food, cleaning your clothes, washing your clothes. Although we can say now our parents do that out of duty, no, they do that out of love for you. So washing each other's feet, serving. Not because it is simply your duty. You serve because there is love in your heart. You want the person to grow. You want the person to be happy. Right? That's why you serve. Kahit na minsan, nakikita mo, hindi bumabalik yon, no? Yung binibigay mo, hindi bumabalik. <laughs> bigay ka na lang bigay, serve ka na lang serve. Sometimes you don't even receive a thank you. A gratitude, a, 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 you know, a, a grateful, you know, remark. Wala nga tapik sa balikat, no? Minsan, dinereject ka pa, kinu-question mo pa yung pagsaserve mo. But that is precisely one gesture, one standard of Jesus by washing the feet of others. Second, how do we stay in love? How do we grow in love according to Jesus, the kind of love that Jesus gave? By breaking bread with others. Breaking bread with others. It means fellowship, being with others. When you break bread, you are willing to share something significant about you. In the Gospels, we find actually 21 verses about breaking bread. One significant scene of Jesus breaking bread with, with his disciples took place during the Passover meal. Before his passion, he stayed with his disciples and he breaks bread with them. Another beautiful story of Jesus, the recent Christ breaking bread with the disciples, yung kwentong uh, the road to Emmaus, uh, are you familiar with that uh, story? No? The two disciples were walking out of Jerusalem, going out out of the, the, the city, they were, they were confused and they were sad because of what happened to Jesus. And while discussing around the road, a stranger a, joined them. And then the stranger also joined their conversation. Only when the stranger started to go over the events, tracing the history of the things that happened in Jerusalem, and explaining to them the details, where they felt their hearts were burning. Sila mismo nagsabi yung dalawang disciples, is it, oh, did our hearts burn, no? Para naman ramdaman tayong kakaiba habang nagsasalita siya sa atin. So breaking bread with them, it means sharing with your loved ones, with others, their passion, even their problems, bearing each other, enduring. That is the meaning of breaking bread. No? Because if kung titignan natin, Tayo din ay parang tinapay eh. If we allow ourselves to be broken by God, to be shared to others. That's the meaning of the Eucharist. The breaking of bread goes beyond what we see. It also points to our lives. When we are prepared, God can take us and He can break us so we can be given to others. The third way of loving according to Jesus is ito, pinakamalalim na ito by suffering and dying on the cross. How did Jesus love? Sabi nga ni Father Ramil, no? Ganyan daw, no? Extending His hands on the cross. Our love is God-like when we are willing to die for others. Physically or literally, I don't know. But dying can take many forms. Dying to our selfishness, dying to our ego, dying to a lot of things that prevent us from loving God. This is the ultimate love, the sacrificial love that Jesus is asking us every day. Are you willing to die for your loved ones? Are you willing to die for your husband? Are you willing to die for your wife? Ang ating mga kapatid na nasa ibang bansa, no? ang hirap kayo magtrabaho sa ibang bansa. But they endure the loneliness 
And yung hirap sa trabaho doon sa ibang bansa because of their love for their children and family. That is sacrificial love. And when we show this kind of love, washing each other's feet, in fellowship with others, breaking bread with others, and ultimately when we even accept suffering for our own, for others, that's how we are identified that we are followers of Jesus, that we are children of God. My dear friends, God tells us that His love for us is everlasting, Jeremiah 13. My love for you is everlasting. In other words, unconditional, unchanging. And Jesus lived out this kind of love by dying on the cross. That's the message of Easter. By loving, we die. By serving, we die. But we rise again from death. And we, because we are with Jesus. It is my wish and prayer for all of us here gathered in this Holy Eucharist that we may grow in love, not just romantic love, not just friendship love, but the agape love, a love that is willing to commit, a willing to suffer, a willing, willing to serve until the very end. Only God can give us that kind of love. Amen. Let us pray to our Father in heaven that we may be faithful to the new commandment given to us, that by which we shall be known as Christ's followers. Let us pray. Lord of love, listen to our prayer. Lord of love, listen to our prayer. For the leaders of the church, may God's love strengthen and nourish them as they defend the sanctity of life and balance justice, we pray. Lord of Lord love, of love listen, listen to our prayer. For those who do not believe in God or in Christ Jesus, may they recognize in the lives of Christians the spirit of the Lord's love and mercy so that one day they too may gladly call on the one true God and the one Savior of the world we pray lord of love listen to our prayer for our newly elected national and local leaders may the lord give them help grace and wisdom so that they may become more responsible accountable 
and trustworthy in fulfilling their fresh mandate. We pray, Lord of love, listen to our prayer. For those in special need, may the Lord heal the sick, comfort the suffering and the dying, give safety to travelers, and free those unjustly deprived of liber liberty. We pray, Lord of love, listen to our prayer. For our nation, may we work in unity and peace to break the walls of division, to heal the wounds of indifference, and bring justice to the poor. We pray, Lord of love, listen to our prayer. God, our Father, we, your children, come before you. Renew our hearts and give us love which knows no limits, that we may be true disciples of Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the serious command and form of divine teaching, we now dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those we have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mysteries of redemption they have celebrated and grant its members the perseverance to attain the effects that flow from them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace of the risen Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Maraming salamat sa atin pong paring tagapagdiwang ng atin pong uh, fifth Sunday of Easter na banal na misa. And uh, tayo naman po'y dadako sa atin pong munting katikismong pabaon para po sa linggong ito. At tatapusin na po natin ang atin pong exposition tungkol po sa Gaudete et Exultate. Ito po yung pangaral ni Pope Francis na kanya pong uh, ipinalabas ng March 19, uh, 2019 o uh, 2018 na kung saan po ay inilarawan ni Pope Francis what is holiness in the church of today. Sa huling bahagi po ng kanyang sulat na Gaudete et Exultate ay ipinakita po ni Pope Francis na sapagkat napakarami at nagbabago palagi ang atin pong mga pinagdadaanan ng mga challenge, ng mga realities ng buhay po natin sa atin pong panahon. Napakabilis po ng buhay. Mahalaga kanya sa pagiging banal sa ating panahon. Yung tinatawag po natin na discernment. Okay? Yung pagkakaroon ng pananalangin na kung saan sa harap ng Panginoon kinikilatis po natin ano ba yung way of God sa gitna po ng ating mga pinagdadaanan. And in paragraph 170 ay sabi po ni Pope Francis ito pong uh, discernment na ito bagamat ito'y natututunan natin gaya nga ng isinulat po ni St. Ignatius of Loyola, okay, may, may rules, no? There are rules of discernment. Itong discernment kanya is a supernatural gift. Ito ho ay uh, gracia na bigay ng Espiritu ng Diyos upang sa ganon ayudahan ang atin pong pag-iisip at ang ating prudence. Yan, ano? And, um, Uh, ito po, hindi lang po 
sumasa atin sa pamagitan ng mahabaang pananalangin. Oh, silence o prolonged prayer. Hindi lang po yun, no? Kung hindi, uh, it is really uh, coming from the inspiration of the Lord. Kaya, ang mahalaga po dito is uh, to ask the Lord to speak to us. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Yan ang palaging pinag-pray-pray dapat natin. Panginoon, ano ang gusto mo? And I will listen. Yan. Pero, yon. Sa paragraph 173, paano ho tayo makikinig sa words ng Panginoon kung tayo po'y nagdi-discern? Ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, number one, look at the gospel. Meron bang sinasabi ang Ibanghelyo tungkol sa sitwasyon na dinidiscern ko? Pangalawa, magisterium. Tignan mo, anong pangaral? ng uh, leadership ng simbahan tungkol dito sa isyong ito. Yan. Isyo ng kasal, pagpili ng asawa, isyo ng pagpapalaki ng mga anak. No? Ano sinasabi ng simbahan tungkol dito? And then, ano din naman yung treasury ng simbahan, yung tradisyon ng simbahan tungkol po dito? Ang ganda po na sabi ni Pope Francis sa paragraph 174 ng Gaudete et Exultate kanya, discernment is not about discovering what more we can get out of life. Kanya, ang discernment ay hindi po pagtuklas lamang kung ano pa ang pwede nating gawin sa buhay. But discernment is about recognizing how we can better accomplish the mission entrusted to us. So, bawat isa po sa atin, sa ating binyag, meron pong misyon. And uh, sabi nga po ni Pope Bonaventure, at ito po hindi natin pwedeng isa-isang tabi, the logic of God, the logic of God is always pointing to the cross. Yan, ang ganda, no? So, kung ang discernment mo, ipinapakita kung saan papunta yung cross, uh, the cross is the best sign that yun ang pamamaraan ni Lord. Pero yung nga eh, no? ang hirap pong tanggapin ang cross sa buhay. Totoo po yan. Okay? So, sa susunod po nating uh, mga pagtatanghal, muli po tayong magbubukas ng bagong topic dito po sa pabaon na katikismo ng ating sambuhay Sunday TV Mass. Ngayon po'y inaanyayahan namang namin kayo na maging kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator. Sa panong paraan, first of all, maraming salamat po sa inyong mga love offerings, yung mga regular po nagpapadala. No? Nasa screen po natin, ang ating mga accounts upang isustain ang ating pong apostolado na alam po ninyo lumalaki, meron na tayong daily workers mass, meron tayong daily posting ng uh, mga readings of the day sa English at Tagalog, meron po tayong gabay sa sambuhay, lahat pong ito'y nangangailangan siyempre ng logistics. di ba? So salamat po sa inyo pong suporta And may you continue to be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator. Pangalawa po, you can be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator by spreading the news. Kaya nasa screen naman po natin ang iba't ibang mga cyberspace account po natin para sa apostoladong ito. Ito po'y ipamudmud ninyo sa inyong mga kakilala, lalo-lalo na po sa abroad. No? And then, of course, you can be a mission partner, a kasambuhay, Pauline cooperator by texting us yung inyo pong mga feedbacks at mga prayer intentions. Okay? Sa ngalan po ng SPAB, St. Paul Audiovisual Sambuhay TV Team, si Father Resti de la Peña, ang atin pong mga kasamahang juniors na sina Edward Dantes at Kib Dimataktak, oh, a perpetual na pala itong si Kib, no? 
Binabati natin, siya po'y perpetually professed na doing all for the Gospels. Iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang panalangin ng aming founder, si Blessed James Alberione, to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you and Jesus, my God, Jesus and Mary. Give me your most holy blessings. Amen. Amen.